Hello and welcome to Raiderland Spirit. I'm Philip Arabome. People know about the Texas Tech cheerleaders as individuals, as a group. They're as ubiquitous at all our sporting events and on campus culture, just like the masked rider. But what many people don't know is behind the scenes, there is a load of intensity, hard work, and preparation it takes to build a program that's won now two NCAA college national titles. Let's look at the Red Raiders cheerleading program through the growth of many figures, players, coaches, and others who continue to make this program one of the best possibly in the country. Here's an overview of Texas Tech Cheer, consisting of two competitions, all girls and co-ed. Both of these programs perform at multiple sporting events, including football, both basketball gender programs, volleyball, and an assortment of other events and sporting competitions. They travel around the country and sometimes the world to support the Red Raiders. They compete in something called the National Cheerleading Association, which has a tournament called the College Nationals. Texas Tech first contested in 1982. They've now won two national championships, most recently this past season in 2019. Their first was in 2017. Over many weeks of research, we've learned that this particular band of Texas Tech Red Raider cheerleading athletes has been fomented by two programs, including Navarro Junior College, which is where many of the people we interviewed were from. The program has been cheerleading consistently pretty much since the day Texas Tech was started and has become a part of university lore, as much as the Masked Rider or Soap Suds and Will Rogers or the colors red and black itself, they are the face of Texas Tech. One thing we can say about this program is that they're on the brochure, if you will. One of the brochure facets, we talk about things like the administration building or the Jones Stadium or various students, but cheerleaders are important to the facet and the spirit of the university. Cheer season typically begins with tryouts in the spring. Then the squads hold competition over the summer and then get ready to compete in invitation tournaments like the NCAs. They want to get a feel for how the program works and what it feels like. Once football season is over, competition season begins, meaning that football season is one of the two main facets of why the cheerleaders exist in the first place. You see them every time you watch a game. Those beautiful smiling faces, the women lifted high above their heads by strong men. Texas Tech cheerleading definitely is the spirit of Raiderland. Welcome back to Raiderland Spirit. Many people remember about the Texas Tech men's basketball program making its run to the Final Four in Minneapolis. But the Texas Tech cheerleaders were making a run of their own in Daytona, Florida the NCAA College Nationals winning their second championship. Talk about historic achievements. In a year of historic achievements for the Texas Tech Red Raiders, Red Raider cheer more than held its own. We talked to Coach Bruce Bills about the accomplishment. And our Division 1A National Champions with a 98.1542 Texas Tech University. We probably attended this competition 20 plus years. Um, the past 10, 15 years, we've been very competitive in it. And so there's two days, prelims, you have um, what's called a game day routine, and it's a 45 second cheer thing that you would see at a timeout. Um, you have to incorporate flags, signs, palms, megaphones, all that, and they're just looking for how well do you uh, involve a crowd. And so you have that 45 seconds, and then you go into the two minute and 15 second routine. Um, during finals, you do the routine only, because it's in a different venue, um, and everybody does the same time limit, and what you put into that is up to each school. It's scored um, on a score sheet that judges, um, there's five judges up there that are judging us, um, and they will go through um, different rubric um, that is sent out over the summer um, to where this is the skills that you need to have in your routine. And so we have stunts, um, we have basket tosses, pyramids, um, tumbling, um, jumps, and then a dance. And so out of all that, they'll just go through and look at what difficult value did you have in the, each of those categories and then how well was it executed technique wise um, to make your final score. It's taken a lot of time and a lot of people um, that make this happen. Um, it wasn't just an overnight thing. 
Um, these athletes, they put in a lot of hard work. We want to make sure that we are representing Texas Tech at that level each and every time we're in uniform. Well, we finally found the formula of success and we're going to, you know, use that and continue to grow it. We don't want to settle. Um, and I think that's kind of the mentality that we've um, instilled in our athletes too that why could we be better? What things do we need to do to be better? And so just adding all those things up really made us to where we are. Those were some pretty big trophies, I'll tell you. When we return, we head down to a local studio where we talk to a few people who are helping make Texas Tech Red Raider cheerleading better and better each day, and also helping the next generation of Lubbock's own cheerleaders. We'll be back. Welcome back to Raider Land Spirit. You've heard from the coach, you've seen some of the program, but what about the athletes that help make Texas Tech cheerleading the new powerhouse in college athletics? We go down to a local Lubbock small gym where a group of cheerleaders are working hard to build up their reputation in the local cheerleading world, as well as prepare their own prospects for a new tournament, the Worlds in Orlando, Florida. Let's do that for Ultimate Cheerleading Saturday isn't for the boys, it's used for cheer. Cheer is a family atmosphere. In this gym, being such a small gym, everybody's so close. We're just striving every day to do everything we can to push ourselves and make this gym as great as we can make it. But we want to be the gym that when people say Lubbock, they say ultimate. Every day we just try to come in here and you know push the kids to be better than they were the day before and you know, always build off of what you've left the day before. I think trust plays a huge factor in this. I, coming from Texas Tech, going onto that floor, there was not a doubt in my mind that I didn't trust anyone next to me or even the alternates. And coming to Ultimate as well, trusting each other just to go out and do it for the person next to you. So we have a couple people that haven't been to Worlds before, so I, the leaders on the team are trying to like guide them in the right way to, like, to make them more aware, but not to be so scared or panicked, and just to go out and have fun. This is, this is a, a D2 program, so which means we're a small gym. Um, to be able to compete at the World Championships against some of these big name gyms, it just puts a lot of, put a lot of pressure on our name to go out there and just be great, but I think we're ready. We're the only small gym in the entire country to bring two teams to Worlds, so just be ready. We're coming. We're swinging. West Texas is vicious, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I definitely do think it fuels these kids' motivation because not many people know about this gym, but just getting that name out there, it makes them want to be better and beat those big gyms because once a small gym beats a big gym, then everybody's like, Where, where'd that gym come from? So I think it does uh, play a huge role in the fire that uh, these kids want to win and they want to go out there and put on the best show that they possibly can. Knowing that the pressure of being a small gym is on you at one of these large, large competitions, so you know we have to be better. They don't want us to win. They don't want a small gym to come in and take titles. So they're always gonna be harder on us, so we have to push ourselves even more to be great. It's different, but it's still kind of the same energy. Like, especially because a lot of this is from Texas Tech as well. Like, we have our, some coaches, we have alumni, and then some athletes as well. We're really trying to bring that positive, like, hype energy that we had during Daytona to, like, this atmosphere so everyone can be like, oh, we can do it too, you know what I mean? And when we step on that floor, it's nothing but confidence. Special thanks to Ultimate Cheer Royal Corps and good luck to them as they compete in Worlds. And another thank you to the various people we've interviewed for this story, including the Texas Tech Cheer and Dance Program. For Raider Land Spirit, I'm Philip Arabome. Good night, everyone. <laughs>